Hello everyone, this is Hey Romany, uh, welcome back for some more of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Previously, Davalos continued the Dawn Guard quest, touching the sky, and found the Inner Sanctum. In Oriel's Chapel Beyond, he defeated Verther. Back at Oriel's Chapel, in the Forgotten Vale, behind the Inner Sanctum. Now to speak to Galibor. But first, there is a way to get two followers at once. You note that Serana's not following us at the moment. So let's go to Whiterun and pick up Lydia. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I am your sword and your shield. What do you need, my thing? Lead the way. Welcome back, Lydia. Now back to the Forgotten Vale. And might as well wrap up some things before we go back to the Inner Sanctum. Let's go to the Shrine of Resolution. And here are those clifftop Falmer villages. Here's a giant that fell down, a frost giant, and we need this emerald paragon. Thank you, giant. Go to the way shrine of learning. Shrine of learning. To the north from here. This is the pass from the White Shrine of Sight. And we can find some goodies in these ruins. At this chest, a coin purse, 
Unknown Book, Volume 1. Plus all this stuff. Now to go north along this stream. Another giant. Each of the giants here carries a paragon. Paragon. Now to ascend the stairway. And here we have the Paragon Socket, where we place those Paragons. Also, another giant is across the way. Hey, Frosty. Perforated. More elven arrows. Those will come in handy. The Sapphire Paragon. So we now have all the Paragons. Five in total. Now for this Paragon Socket, first Sapphire. Portal to the Inner Sanctum. Eastern section. Sandy of Jams.
more elven arrows. more goodies back to the Paragon platform Now for the Emerald Paragon. Forgotten Veil Overlook. This is the easy way to get here, but it isn't the only way. That's Ariel's chapel up there. And if you're feeling a bit adventurous, you can try jumping here from the balcony. And if you intend to do that, you'll want to use Become Ethereal. More goodies. Anon Book Volume 2. More Elven Arrows. more items one whole gold back to the Paragon platform. Take back our Emerald Paragon, then install the Ruby Paragon. Forgotten Veil vale Forest, Falmer Warmonger. Hasta la vista. Ariel's shield. Frost Troll
more elven arrows. Another frost troll. So long. Back to the Paragon platform. Get our Ruby Paragon back. Now for the Amethyst Paragon. Leading to Darkfall Grotto. Berserker Elixir. Some more goodies. Back to the Paragon platform. Got our Amethyst Paragon back. Now for the Diamond Paragon. Glacial Crevice. Even more goodies. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. So that should be all the Paragons. Amethyst, Diamond, Emerald, Ruby, 
and Sapphire. Alrighty. Now back to the Forgotten Vale. Notably to this way shrine. And we'll go this way to the Shrine of Radiance. May Ariel's radiance fill your heart with joy. Now we're back at the Inner Sanctum. the inner sanctum. And we'll go through to the chapel. Ariel's Chapel. Might as well raid Verther. He won't be needing this stuff anymore. Then let's talk to Galibor. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Verther must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled them. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? <clears throat> Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Thank you, sir. Now to retrieve Ariel's bow. Touching the sky complete. Got some elven arrows and some hello to elven arrows. Started Kindred Judgment. Speak to Serana. We now have Ariel's bow. Very good against undead. Hey, Galibor. I trust you're faring well. What will happen to the Chantry now? Why it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory. That time has long since passed. 
Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. Then I've contributed to your kind's extinction. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of snow elves nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. No, he didn't. What will you do then? For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. Alright. Can the betrayed ever be cured? I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Then there's no hope for them. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Hopefully. What can you tell me about Auriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Auriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Werther said something about using blood. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Alright. How do I obtain sun-hallowed arrows? I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. So he can turn elven arrows into sun-hallowed arrows. Can you make me some sun-hallowed arrows? Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. That's twenty. Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Forty? Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Sixty? Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Eighty? Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. A hundred. Farewell, friend. May the radiance of Oriel fill your heart with joy. It's Thank you, sir. Not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. What do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. If we do, he'll have to die. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... it's not easy, but I don't think we have much of a choice. No, this has to end here and now. Then let's face him together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Alright, speak to Isran. Oh, what is it? Werther was saying something about vampire blood and the bow. It sounds like... that's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. 
can I use your blood then? Sure. Do you have any arrows though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. I'd like to treat some arrows with your blood. Let's just get this over with. Twenty blood cursed elven arrows. Are you ready to do this? I don't think you can ever be ready to kill your parent. I'm doing my best to not think of him as my father anymore. Let me know if you need anything. We've got enough to worry about right now. You stay focused, and I'll worry about me. Okay, Serana. Do you need something? Alright, let's see what you have. behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lead on. Yes. All right, let's see what you have. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's get going then. What now? Anything good? There you go, Serrano. And level up time. Let us boost health. And maybe ward absorb. Magic resistance. Under alteration. All right. Kindred judgment. We have to go speak to Isran. But first, let's bring those ancient Falmer tomes to Uragroshub over at the College of Winterhold. Oh boy, a dragon. Who's there? A big old lizard.
so long. Ancient dragon defeated. Let's get in the doors. Another dragon soul. Learn never. And summon Dernavir. Now let's go see Urag. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Any interest in ancient farmer tomes? Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. A rare find in the original Falmer language. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? Depends how much you're paying. Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? Deal. Here you go. All right. Acquired the Betrayed, Journal of Myrtle Angoth. Diary of Fair Agarwan and Touching the Sky. Alrighty. Now we'll head home. A few gold to spend, please. Sure, buddy. You're the best. Thanks. Oh, what is it? If you think it'll help.
I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? You lead, I'll follow. Still here. How can I serve you, my Thane? Let's get going then.
I think I'll try to put that paralysis effect on this ebony greatsword. Disenchant this, get the paralyze enchantment. And then I'll put it on this ebony greatsword. Paralyze. Alrighty. Now then, off to Fort Dawnguard. And next time, we'll start the assault on Lord Harkon. This is Heyrotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.